Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Um, um, I have a bunch of energy today so I thought we're going to make uh, some progress with our game written in C. I'm just gonna have a sip of coffee here. And by the way the coffee is the reason why I have a bunch of energy. Um, <laughs> so yeah let's start. And by the way this is probably going to be some uh, advanced NASA shit so uh, uh, be prepared for that. We're going to render some textures. Um, really advanced stuff. So let's just uh, open up our editor here. Now, <clears throat> I know, I remember that I uh, started looking into this like behind the scenes before I made this video, or I mean, it was like a week ago that I looked into it. And I realized it's, uh, I don't know, for me it's a bit complicated because I haven't done a lot of that stuff. Um, but yeah, I know that we're going to need, uh, I don't know, it, probably not going to need this, but it's going to help us a lot. Uh, it's a uh, library for loading like JPEGs and PNGs and stuff like that. So, that's the image. And <clears throat> so... We're just gonna download this. We're just gonna steal this thing from this guy. Um, maybe we'll give him some credit if we uh, if this pong game becomes famous and gets gets some steam and stuff. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna download that and put it in here. Right. So I'm just gonna have another sip of coffee. This is the last sip of coffee. It's almost empty now. Actually, I have one sip left. We'll save that for later. All right, so now we got our STB image stuff here. Um, this is some advanced NASA level stuff. Um, we're not going to read this. Um, I have actually wrote, I actually wrote my own library once to load a uh, uh, to load uh, uh, BMP uh, images, but that is a lot s more simple because BMPs are almost like raw, like there's pretty much raw pixel data in them. It's very really pretty easy to load and also pretty easy to write them. But this library handles like PNGs and JPEGs, and I it maybe handles BMP as well. I think it does. <clears throat> it probably does. Anyways, we don't care about that right now. Um, so we need some. We need a, a texture to to load and test with. So we're gonna steal a texture from somewhere. Uh, isn't it open game art or something that we can steal stuff from? I don't know. Yeah, we're just gonna steal something from here. I don't know, or maybe we shouldn't. I don't know. Uh, I just want like a simple image to load. Uh, to character sprite file type PNG, and we're going to do a uh, size icon. I think I like. I want a really small one. Um, so let's just. Uh, Like while I'm playing around with this, I want to have like a really small, simple sprite to load that won't cause any problems. Um, because I'm scared, I guess. I'm scared of this stuff. I'm pretty scared actually to make this video. I'm probably gonna fail miserably. But uh, anyways, <sighs> do you guys see any icon here that you like? Um, uh, this is difficult actually. Uh, can we do like, uh, I actually want it to be transparent as well. That would be nice. And like most of these seems to be pretty big ones. I want a small one. Can we do like a size exactly like 32, 32 or something? Here we go. Um, right, so. 
let's see if we can get the, uh, this icon to render, maybe. Or maybe that chest. Yeah, I like this chest. Maybe we should... No, it's animated. It's animated. No, we're not going to do animated stuff. We're not going to go into that. Why is this so difficult? Well, there we go. This one is perfect. No, it's rem... Did not say file type PNG? How can that be animated? PNGs are not animated. It's probably a GIF. So, uh, well... Let's, uh, is this one animated? No, it's not animated. Copy image address. I'm going to see if that, no, this is, a, this is a PNG. Nice. Let's download this. Let's steal that. And in our rest folder, we're going to create another folder inside our rest. Make the rest, uh, I don't know, image. Let's just download this thing into there. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, we got the simple stuff done. We have download the library and a texture. And now I'm out of coffee, and that's perfect. Because otherwise, I'm probably going to have a heart attack or something. Oh, God. So, um,. What we're going to do now, I guess, is create some function that loads textures and returns like an unsigned int that we can use to render, I guess. Or maybe we should start modifying our shaders first. That's probably what we're going to, going to need to do. So we're going to need to go to learn open deal because I'm a noob and we're going to go to textures and uh, yeah, right, so, hmm, where is the shaders? So, here is the vertex shader, and here's the fragment shader. Let's just copy this stuff, I guess. Ba -ba -ba. Vertex. That's what programmers do best. Guess what programmers do best? Steal code from other people and steal stuff from other people with thieves. Thieves discussed as programmers. Okay, uh, there we go. Save. Now we're gonna copy the fragment shader. And we're gonna steal that one too. Cool. I hope I'm not going to jail for this. That would be, that would be sad. You know, I have my job, I have kids and I have a dog. I don't want to go to jail for stealing some shaders. No, just kidding. I don't have a kid. I don't have a dog. I do have a job, though. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> there we go. <sighs> yeah, the, the more you save it, the better it is. So, you know, you know what to say, the more the merrier. Mm, okay. Now we're going to create a function that... <sighs> Actually, let's start with the actor, and we're gonna put like an unsigned in texture, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, I think that is an unsigned int. So, do do do. Where? Where is it defined? I just want to make sure that it's unsigned. Yeah, unsigned in texture, and the actor is going to have the texture on it, so it's. It makes sense to put that on him, right? So, uh, or maybe it's a girl, I don't know. Is this actor a girl or a boy? Maybe we should put a, a, a boo boy. 
Oh, right, we don't have booleans in C, we need to do int boy. And if that is zero, then it's a boy. If it's a one, then it's a girl. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, unsigned int texture. Texture. Okay, cool. So now this, our little actor here, got a texture. Uh, theoretically. Um, now I'm thinking maybe we should, uh, when you initialize an actor, maybe you should be able to specify if it should have a texture or not. Or maybe we shouldn't do that. And maybe we should have like a function set texture. Does that make sense? Uh, maybe we want to load textures. Uh, I don't know. Man. Let's just write a function that loads textures, okay? So, uh, and gives us like a renderable texture. So, touch uh, textures.h or something. I don't know. Uh, and we're just gonna see here if. Yeah. So, if def pong uh, textures age, define pong textures age. Uh, and then we're gonna have like an unsigned int get texture, I don't know, char, uh, char uh, file path. And if, by the way, I noticed when I was looking at the code the other day that I made some, uh, I made a mistake here somewhere, I think, in our dynamic list. We're not going to fix it today because it still works, but, uh, I know that we made, I made a problem, I made, uh, I made a mistake here somewhere. Yeah. So we're allocating memory when we're creating the dynamic list pointer and the dynamic list size is the size of the item that we're putting. That's not right. It should have been. I mean, this is a simple fix. Let's just add it. It doesn't hurt. So we want to put this there instead because that point, that allocation, it's not going to be the size of the item. It needs to be the size of the struct. So uh, this is more correct. I just wanted to add that because it's been bothering me. And that's why I don't work at NASA. Okay, so... Uh, uh, yeah, there we are. So let's uh, <clears throat> copy this function into an implementation file for this. Touch textures dot c do, and we want to include the header include slash textures dot h, and we want to put this in there. No, why did I do that? There we go. So, now we're going to steal some code. So, this is basically the the full code that we're going to steal, I guess, for this. Um, yeah, we can just steal this, I think. Indent that. Um... I already know what this is doing, and I we're probably not going to do the repeat stuff. I'm just going to copy that now. And yeah, I know it's standard in C to do those sort of curly braces, but I don't like them. I don't like those. It's not my style. <clears throat> and if you're stealing code, you can at least make it look like you write it, like you wrote it. Okay, so there we go. Now, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. So now we're going to remove that and put file path instead. And we want to return the texture. Nice. Now we will need to 
uh, go into, and we're gonna steal some code from our own code. <laughs> if that makes sense, we're going to, probably in the graphics age, yeah. We're gonna steal, yeah, we're gonna steal this and put it in the uh, uh, textures.c, and we're gonna need to do this because we're gonna need to use functions from that. So, right, now, or oh, wait. Oh yeah, we need that here because we're using the geo functions here. Okay, uh, let's see if stuff compiles. No, this is C++ code. That's not how you do it. By the way, I know I have a lot of like C++ repositories on my GitHub, but I, I came to the conclusion the other day that I don't really like C++. Um, and you know, when I tell people that I don't like C++, they tell me, oh, you're just trying to be smart. You're trying to be like, you're trying to be like Linus Torvalds or something. No, I just don't. Sometimes I don't feel like I need the stuff that C++ provides and I might as well just use C. Um, I mean, for, the project we're working on right now that you see in front of you uh, we could have probably benefited from using C++ because we're like sort of we are like sort of using object orientation here uh, but it's it's a challenge to implement it yourself I've never really done this sort of object orientation in C before like trying to implement your own classes and stuff because that's basically what we have done like this is I mean this is this is basically a class the actor basically you know uh, anyways let's not get sidetracked on that um, so we have print we changed the print okay cool so we're having some problems with the STB library I suppose so I know that you have to do this uh wait oh we're not even including it so that's one of the issues whoa so we need to do this and we need to also include it include include slash s to be image so yeah uh things does not compile Wait, I recognize this problem. I recognize this. Undefined reference to symbol pound. Let's just Google that one. No, why do I keep doing that? I've actually Googled that one before. <laughs> So yeah, I, I remember this. I think the LM flag will do it for us. And this is like the STB library that have some dependency on something called M or something, I guess. Uh, and that's why we need to do that. So now, we, now it compiles. If we run this, we should see, wait, wait. Oh yeah, we changed our shaders to stuff are sort of broken, I suppose. But why is it black though? That's that's pretty weird, is it? Is it not? Wait. Maybe it's because it's probably our shaders that messes things up, probably. Uh, that's what I would guess. Let's just not care about that, right? But the, why I'm confused is because like we're clearing this. What if we like don't draw this stuff? We should. I don't understand why we don't see uh, that co background color. But it's probably the the shaders. Yeah. So that works. So it's probably something with the shaders that messes things up. So let's just not care about that right now. Now what we need to do is that we need to modify the. Uh, well, we need to modify the vertices and stuff like that. So, uh, doo -doo -doo. God, float text cores. 
So this is what we need. I suppose. Let's just call this um, vertices textured. And we're going to replace this with Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. There we go. Yep. So now, where do we use them? Well, we use them here. So let's replace that with uh, vertices textured. Okay. Now. Okay, now we're using those. Nice. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna need to modify. So this is uh, two, 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 what? So. Uh, wait, what? What? Okay, uh, okay. Texture, hand color, bind vertex, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, I'm basically looking for the GL vertex attribute pointer stuff. It's probably here. Takes stuff, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's here. Yeah, we need this stuff. We need this stuff. Um, now I'm actually going to uh, keep the comments because that's always nice to have. Uh, so yeah, that one is replaced with that. And then we need these, uh, the other one that he wrote in the stuff textures. Vertex after. This is the oh, stop. Uh, this is the uh, text cord stuff. Text cords. Okay, so what we need to do now is uh, uh, okay. So we're not passing in the color, are we? Uh, a color that's probably done this one as well. A color. No. Why? So, right, so that comes from the. Uh, wait, I'm. No, it's not confused. It's confusing as all. It's so basically. No, basically, we're past this the position, the color, and the text cord. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is the fragment is going to need our texture. Now that is something that is. Right. Uh, what? Uh, I'm just trying to make sense of where that stuff is passed into the shader. The, our texture. Where does it come from? I don't understand. Our texture. What? That is really strange, actually. Shaders. Does it? Is it mentioned? Here, no. So, uniform sampler. Like I would have thought that we would use like a uh, uniform, uniform the 
like something like that, but we're not doing that. Uniform. What the? What? I don't understand that. What? Like this is not what I'm used to doing. You know? What? He? What? Get uniform location. What? Oh. What? The? Okay. Um. Uh, hmm. So. What is going on here? Texture units. Oh, this is like advanced stuff. Um, okay. Uh, okay. But, like, how does this... Wait, so, okay, this vertex shader... Our texture, uniform sampler, 2D, our texture, yeah? Where does that come from? Our texture. I don't get it. I don't get where that comes from, actually. It's not mentioned. Uniform sampler. Oh, wait. No. All right, so. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> that is uh, populated when you bind it, I, I suppose. All right, let's just continue. Uh, so, now we need to make sure our actor pad has a texture. So, when we create it, we're going to do uh, include, in, include, include slash um, textures.h. And we're going to do, uh, burr, burr, burr. let's rename our texture to something more simple. Let's rename it uh, texture.png, that's a good name. And then we're just going to do, in here I suppose, pad, no, we need to do ast, no, no, act, act, come on, actor, no, actor. Add texture is equal to get texture res texture of png. Let's see if that compiles. It does. And we're seeing stuff. <laughs> nice. So now what we're gonna do is that we need to we need to actually draw the texture. So to do that, we need to do, uh, 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 we need to bind the texture before we draw it, I suppose. So in our actor.c, is this the right way to do it? Um, yeah, I suppose we can do it here. It makes sense, I suppose. So we have to check if the actor has a texture. So if a texture, do do do. And we need to okay. now I'm not sure that we want to do the bind veil thing here, but uh, let's just put it there for now. Suppose see what this what's this what, what what this does? It does nothing for us. Okay, it does nothing. We're not getting what we're expecting here. So what is the problem here? What is the problem? What is the problem? What are we doing wrong? I don't know. I don't know. So we have the position attributes. The color attribute. Text color attribute. Indices. Maybe we need to change our indices. Oh, right. Uh, indices. No. I think uh, 
but no, that shouldn't make any difference. So what is the problem here? Ha 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 ha. Channel text image 2D. Generate bitmap. Generate bitmap. Generate bitmap. Dream. Uh, da, 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 da. Geo bind texture. Geo active texture zero. Maybe we need to do that too. No, shouldn't. I mean, that's not. The texture is rendered here. Like he made that work there. So, fragler equals texture. Is there something wrong with that texture? No, it cannot be. Geo position back for blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. And we're doing that. We're Binding the texture 2D. Yep. And we might, maybe we need to like enable that. Geo enable Geo texture 2D. Ah, maybe. Maybe that's what the problem is. No. That did not solve anything for us. Um, Geo enable. We're binding the texture. Do -do -do. <clears throat> Maybe this needs to be done in the fail to load. Oh, it says fail to load texture, so that's not that's uh, the problem. Oh, oh. Failed to load texture. Res in texture dot png. Oh, it's misspelled. And the texture texture dot png. Okay. Well, make pong. And we see something. We're actually seeing something. Now we're still having some issues though. It's not what you would have expect. So, what is the problem here? What is the problem? I mean, he's doing the repeat thing. Maybe we want to do that. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to do it though. Pictures. Let's see. Do 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 do. Compile that stuff doesn't make any difference at all so maybe it's our uh, can it be these no no a chin show vertices default vertices vertices texture vertices texture am i doing something that isn't good sure I don't get why it looks like that. Where does it look like it? Like it looks like it's something wrong with the um, with this stuff. Uh, let's see what happens if we just copy what he had here again. Do, do, do. Mag text parameter i blah blah. Let's see what happens if we copy this again. And we don't modify it. No, why are you doing that to me? Let's do this. This. Okay, so that looks weird. I mean, it got bigger for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I'm actually thinking if the indices are wrong. I don't know. Like, could they be wrong? I don't know. 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 Do 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 do
position make for a post to do? Oh, image free. Image free. RDB, generate map, blah, 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 blah. What am I doing wrong? 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 Maybe it's because we skipped this step or something. I missed something here. Might, might have been the problem that I didn't do everything that should have been done here. Vertex color location, I don't know. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. I don't think we missed anything in here, to be honest. Hello triangle, this is what we have done. Compile shader, blah 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 I don't know what we're doing wrong. Like why is that texture messed up and why is it a triangle? Like why is that a like it's not it's not even full. Let's try another texture actually. See if another one works. Let's just do uh, dog. Let's just do. Let's do that dog. Maybe it's because it's a PNG that it gets messed up. I don't know. Maybe we should do. Maybe we should do uh, a JPEG. I hope that one is a JPEG. Yeah, it's a J. It's a JPEG. Let's try a JPEG. So now in our actor pad, we want to load a JPEG instead. I'm going to do welcome.jpeg. Make long. Okay, so that one renders correctly, but it's like flipped or something. I don't know. Like, why is that happening? Why is that happening? Why is that happening to us? Like, is it because of this or something? That we don't want to do that? Uh, I have no idea, man. No, it seems that we still want to be doing that. But why doesn't these indices work? Why? Why, why, why? Textures, 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 textures. Float, text chords, text chords. Text chords. Okay. Like, are these the new indices or something? No, I don't think so. Uh, 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 Why does everyone get it correct and not me? Do do. It doesn't look right for some reason. <laughs> Might be a shader or something, I don't know. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute here. Wait, where did that old code go? So I might actually think what is going on here. I I might actually know what's going on here, actually. So what we want to do, copy, uh, see, uh, da -da -da. like we're doing stuff to the vertex shader and we don't have that data anymore. So it's like corrupt or something. So we want to modify this a little bit to, we're going to add these two. below here and we're gonna put these in um, like so whoa so and we're going to do like our position is still going to be the same but we want to do this I guess and we're going to let's just do this. I hope you can put comments in these. Make Pong. Now things are really broken. Why is that? 
So artifact front blah, 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 blah. geo position geo position do do uniform map model uniform map model uniform map model uniform map model now this is probably a problem with the stuff being too small that's my guess at least so let's just try and do this this and let's bring back the old one just like that make on now that didn't solve anything what is going on here position is equal protection wow did it did it is it solved if we ignore that equals like for apples I don't know it looks better like what is what like what is the difference now like it what come on stop doing that to me okay I honestly don't know like why is this one working and not the other one all right okay so we still have a problem with that one let's just not do that one then. okay so now we got the dog again and what is going on here uh Okay, so that texture works now, and but I want to have like I want to use this stuff, you know. If I do that, okay, so the model works. If we do view, still works. And if we do projection, now I think that breaks everything. Yep, that breaks it. Uh. God, I don't think it's the problem though. Like this is not, it's not what's causing the problem. Like it's being a triangle and stuff like that. It's probably something else. Uh, let me just check in another project. because we need this or something I don't know who knows who knows whoa ho ho that was not our problem Why is it like, why is it doing this? I have no idea what is going on here. Like, why is it like cut off like that? Hmm. I mean, I'm probably doing something wrong. We might have to make another video for fixing this because this video is getting really long. Why is this not working? Jill Murphy Butter Texture to E, Texture B, Texture Parameter to I, blah blah blah. Like, so this is what we got. Yep, looks right. Great, looks great, looks great. This is the shader that we were using. It looks great, looks great. Da -da 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 -da. Looks great, looks great. Fine, fine, fine. And it just works for him. I have no idea why that does. Geogen textures. Geogen. 
The whole process of the internet looks something like this. Yep. That's pretty much what we have. Isn't it? With white number shells. With white number shells. Data equals like this. Generate me map. Generate me map. Generate me map. And it just draws for him without any problems. God, I have no idea what's going on here. Now we're not binding. No, wait. Bind. Bind. Bind vertex array. Bind texture. Bind vertex array. Bind texture. Bind vertex array. Draw elements. Draw elements. Steel triangle. Steel triangle. Six unsigned int. Steel unsigned int. Zero. Six zero. Right. Looks correct. Looks correct. Like, does he have a full source code here or something? Uh, make sure. Blah, blah, blah. You can compare it if you see one. The source code. You can compare it with the source code. Okay, so he got some source code here actually. Float indices. Is that the indices that we have? 013123. 013123, yeah. Bind texture. Draw elements, indices. Geo buffer data indices indices indio vpo geo vertex attrib pointer load and create texture geo p texture one geo by texture texture one default wrapping method tg geo gen textures geo gen textures to do uh, shader set int two one shader set int what the like what the shader uh, set what does that set int do I mean we're not doing that that's one thing for sure so. That's not happening. That's not happening. If a texture what do 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 No, no. Wait, what? So that <laughs> set int texture geo get uniform location. Yeah. Okay, so you can do this. You can do this. Jill get uniform location. Oh, this is the shader ID. This is the shader ID. Default, shader default. A texture. So he's doing, no, this is texture alarm. What? 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 That did not help at all. Wow. <sighs> wow, this is not helping. Like, isn't it going to be it? So, I have no idea why that is not working at all. 
bind texture, active texture. Maybe we need to do this. Probably need to do this. Bind texture. Do 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 do. Actor that C. No, we're doing that, aren't we? No, we're not doing that. Doesn't help. Does not help. Doesn't help. Uh, what did I change here? Steel uniform. Okay, uniform shader default. Our texture. A texture. Uh, what? And this is working the best, but it's not doing what I wanted to do. Bind vertex, swap buffer, pull once. Hmm. I'm just gonna do this AD uh, texture. Uniform sampler, uniform sampler. Maybe, 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 maybe we need to do. Maybe we need to do. A, I mean, we're doing a zero there, aren't we? So let's do that, I guess. So that works, but we're still getting the same results that we would get even if we didn't do that one. So, well, like, why is it looking like that? 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 Well, I have no idea why it's being rendered as weird as it is rendered. It's just not making any sense. At all. It, uh, maybe it's our matrix that is wrong. No, I don't think. No. No, because we're not doesn't matter doesn't matter like even if we like, even if we would like remove even if we would like uh, uh, even if we would do this and just use the position then it's still the same result so that's not the problem projection Okay, okay. Texture one, texture one, texture one, set into texture one, texture one. So, like, shaders. Honestly, I have no idea what is going on here. It's really weird. Feels really weird, actually. Start at C. Use program. Use program. Use program. Shader default. 
find the Pine Vertex Ray. <laughs> what is going on? Bind texture, texture 2D, do do do. Is it something wrong with this? Could be. I don't know. Who knows? No. No. I told you this is some advanced NASA stuff. Um, I think we have to fix this in another video, uh, but what we're going to do is that we're going to commit this stuff uh, and we're going to call it uh, broken texture loading. It sort of worked. I mean, we've got a texture on screen, but it's like, it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. But yeah, that's for this video, guys. Uh, in the next video, we'll try to fix this. I got some other stuff to do now, so I have to, uh, I have to uh, log out. Um, I'm going to the gym, and then I'm going to meet some friends. Actually, I'm going to the gym, and then I'm going to uh, get back here, eat some stuff, and then I'll probably, then I'll go meet some friends. I think, because I do have friends. If you didn't know that. Uh, programmers have friends as well. Well, sorry for being a noob, guys. Um, I have no idea what's going on here. Maybe if you if you know what's going on, maybe you can leave a comment or something. That would be helpful. Um, I'm going to try to find a solution for this uh, behind the scenes, like without recording, and then I'm going to record implementing that solution, because... I think it might be boring for you guys to watch me uh, trying to get this bug out of the way. Uh, but yeah, or maybe I get a solution for you guys in the comments section. That would be cool. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.